This is Cypress Real Check Reviews. Um, I'm bringing you another video now. This time, unbelievable from what I can see here. Uh, this is the One UI 5 upgrade with Android 13. So let's get into it and let's see what we got here. It says a visual design. So there's a new visual design, new app icons and illustrations. Icon symbols are larger for a bolder look that's easier to scan. Subtle background gradients and improved contrast give a fresher, more natural feel. New help illustrations have been created to give a consistent look at all apps. It says it's smoother than ever before with new animations and transition effects. Enhanced blur effects and colors. And for customization, you can customize your lock screen now. More wallpaper choices. More options for your color palette. Easily see who's calling. Modes and routines. Choose modes based on your activity. Choose a mode based on what you're doing, such as exercising, working or relaxing. Then choose what you want on your phone. What you want your phone to do in each situation. Now, if you guys use this, please, please mention it in the comment. Let me see what you use. Bedtime mode is now called sleep mode. Easier to discover preset routines. Check running routines quickly. More actions and conditions for your routines. So basically automatically start routines when you use airplane mode or mobile hotspot. Routines can now open app pairs and adjust the left right sound balance. Wow. I'm actually looking forward to testing that out. Uh, home screen widgets. Stack widgets on your home screen. Combine several widgets of the same size into a single widget. Okay, we've already got that one. But now you can just drag a widget onto another widget to create a stack. Get suggestions on your home screen. The new smart suggestions widget knows what you need before you do, apparently. It suggests apps to use, people to call, and other useful tips. Multitasking, switch your view with a gesture. Switch from full screen to split screen view by wiping upward, by swiping upward with two fingers from the bottom of the screen. Switch from full screen to pop up view by swiping inward with one finger from either corner at the top of the screen gestures can be turned on and off in settings lab in yeah in settings labs labs settings quickly open apps in split screen do more with your connected devices hide notifications on your tv play sound from your phone on any chromecast device uh, for camera and gallery, zoom more easily with one hand, get help with pro mode, histogram in pro mode, what is that? Use the histogram to check the brightness of each tone to help you get perfect exposure. Add watermarks to your pictures, telephoto lens is now supported in food mode. Revamped single take, choose filters more easily, customize albums in gallery, all new look for stories. Stories that are automatically created in your gallery have been revamped with an interactive slideshow view. Just tap or swipe to move between pictures and videos in your story. Now what I'd like to see is they, they gave us an option to switch off these stories because they're quite annoying, if you ask me. Photo and video editor. Create stickers from any picture. More ways to edit GIFs. Keep portrait mode effects even after editing. Draw perfect shapes on pictures and videos. New stickers for photos and videos. Okay, and then we've got AI emoji and stickers. A Samsung keyboard. New emojis available for emoji pairs. Rearrange expression buttons in Samsung keyboard. Enter... Calmoji directly from keyboard.
customize the spacebar row in Samsung Keyboard. You can extract and scan text, text, which you could do before anyway. Get suggestions based on text in images. Right, Samsung DeX. Now this is what I've been looking forward to. Enhanced taskbar in Samsung DeX. A search button that has been added to make it easier to find apps. You can right click certain apps to quickly access tasks within the app. New notification indicator in DeX. Mini calendar in DeX. Right, please Samsung, put widgets in DeX. Put widgets, we haven't got widgets. We need widgets in DeX. Right, for notifications, get only the notifications you allow. Easier access to app notifications controls. Choose which types of notifications apps can send. New layout for notifications. Right, in your settings, set a language for each app. That sounds pretty cool. Set exceptions for do not disturb. Improved sound and vibration settings. More options for RAM Plus. Now you can actually switch it off completely if you don't need it or don't use it. Auto optimization. Device care keeps your phone running smoothly by automatically performing optimizations in the background. To keep your phone in best condition, you can set your phone to automatically restart when needed. So that, that was also available for. Security and privacy. Check your phone security status at a glance. Prevent accidental sharing of personal information. Security and privacy information for websites. Accessibility. More accessibility options in the quick panel. Hmm. Magnifier is easier to access. More spoken assistance. Easier, easily edit your accessibility button. New actions available for corner actions. So if you're using a mouse or trackpad, new actions are available when you move the, the mouse pointer, pointer to one of the four corner, corners of the screen. You can now click and hold, drag or drag and drop. Additional uh, changes. Use several timers at once. More control over calendar event invitees. Add video conferences to your events. Add stickers to your Google Calendar. Stay on top of reminders of stay on top of reminders due today. Show and hide completed reminders. Choose the right view for your reminders. Drag and drop bookmarks between folders. More powerful search in my files. Redesign digital well-being. Get help in an emergency. Integrated emergency contact list. Show app names in the apps edge panel. Well, as you can see here. It's now downloaded and the whole software package is around two gigabytes, if I remember correctly. There you go, two gigabytes. And uh, app, app update information. So all these apps that you see here will be updated to the latest version after the software update. So it looks like a complete and utter overhaul of the Samsung One UI. One UI 5. Now this is nice. Let's see what they do with the Fold 3. In the meantime, this is Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. So you're going to get the S20, so the S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra and above are now getting One UI 5. And from what I understand, the Fold, all the Folds are going to get it as well, except for the first one, but we'll soon find out about that. So this has been another video from Cypress Real Tech Reviews. Let us know down in the comments what you think about this new update when you update your phone. Um, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video so we can get it out to more people so they can update their phone as well. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.